Hello all of you and Flexians, my name is Mark Rosetz, and welcome back to Doki Doki Episode 8. In the last episode, we got some pretty deep emotional feelings from Yuri. Sayori left early, Nasuki is still a bitch for elbowing me in the stomach, and Monica? But yeah, I still haven't gotten to what Monica's all about, so we'll, we'll see about that. But uh, this is immediately after that last line that I said the last time, it said, I see. And yes, this is immediately after what I just recorded, so let's continue, shall we? I never really put too much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world just start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I've noticed, and it seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are way more sad than happy. Like, God damn it, everybody. Be a happier fucking bunch. Put a smile on your face. You know, like this. <laughs> Are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? You can write about all the good things in life. I don't know. Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. Why do you say that like you're not one? I think you'd know better than anyone else. Um, yeah, I would. I am human. And I am three-dimensional. I think. Okay. You mean one-dimensional? Uh, yes, that. Anyway, here is Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not going... It's not that good. It can really disheartenly get to a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find any other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling, just by telling you that your writing is good or bad or okay, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. That's much more encouraging that way and it makes you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club. Don't you think? So that's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me? Or did you say something strange just now? Hmm? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You divided from your usual catchphrase, then adding the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your book, baby! Looks like the only difference is that Sayori isn't here. Ah, oh, it seems like you're right. Hmm. Sayori will help lighten the mood in a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I wanted to throw another cookie out of her face. I thought she just went to pee. Nasuki, please social decency. Oh, come on. It's not like Mercurosis doesn't swear or anything. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. But you're right. I do swear. And you want to know why? Because I fucking can. Is that so? Yes. Yes, it is. I mean... <clears throat> I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times not to go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no? First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today and didn't want to force it. I mean, hell, I'm a guy. I'm very bad at reading signs. Oh, 
that curious expression coming from Yuri of all people? Calm down, guys. I've talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival pre preparations, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right, Misuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Misuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will need help, will be helping me sign them. And as for Yuri, Yuri, you can, um, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? Hi, I'm useless. No, no, no. That's not it at all. It's just... Fuck. You're the most talented person here, you know. N now, Nasuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit. But I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But... If I can't always be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere! I mean, every human being on Earth should. It's kind of important. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you more gross as... Me? Um... <laughs> I'm the one who is truly useless. I mean, I was chosen last. Hell, that's not useless. I don't know what is. Don't say that. In fact, both Nasuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would really appreciate it. Be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's some dirty work I can give you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. But I'm in a chair, and I don't want to stand, and I don't have a stand on a desk. Nasuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. I mean, who fucking cares? Um, if I recall Nasuki. You mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Mercurius may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assist assisting with the decorations. Hold on! I, I never said that. But you actually did. You, you said challenge accepted when Monica asked if you were down to cooking so lovely. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making an excuse for Mercurosis too. What are you saying? It will be extremely me meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Mercurosis to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides... Oh shit. That was weird. Thing's still recording, right? Good. 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 Alright. He hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? Um. So I'm sure he's interested in. You literally just said. I I I'm surprised that well. Sorry. Sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Mercurosis? 
you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh... Of course? Hmm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Uh, of course I'm going to go with... Fuck. Well, okay, we'll start down the list and go from there. So, or let's just start with the facts. Nusuki. She said that she could bake by herself and she she's a bitch. Uh, the fuck her, no. Monica said that Sayori is helping her, so I mean she already has the help, and Sayori is also helping her, so I mean Yuri? Yeah, okay, Yuri. Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. Me? Are you serious? Why would you Nasuki? I can already tell you're about to say something mean. Yeah, no shit, bitch. Why would I want to help cook with you? You'd probably throw me in the oven. You'd probably be like, here, hold this. And it's like scalding hot water. Hell, I already have enough burns on my body for, not for like 12 lifetimes, so. Where is my mouse? There it is. No, I was just saying. Ugh. So, you'll be helping Yuri then, er. Then Mercurosis? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Mitsuki will be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already agreed to it, didn't I? Oh. See? She didn't need my help. Okay. Okay. Everyone can tell that Nasuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we need to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Mercurosis? Me? I guess you can say I'm interested and see how it will all turn out. I mean, hell, that's good enough for me. What about you, Nasuki? Nasuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No, no. that's not what I meant at all. Uh, Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. Uh, I'm sorry for this. I really don't know why Mercurosis picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They'll go really well with my tea. And nothing that I can do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kinda surprised, though. Shit! Why? Um, well, I'm not the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I, I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Nishiki isn't the only one who's surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. <sighs> when she's already had trouble with words, trying to cheer somebody up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand everything. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell she tried to say something Sayori would it say the time it's like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. Yay. No, I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing, but I'm going to say this. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of this whole event. Uh. I believe you. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's no nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. All right, let's get out of here then. Everyone backs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Asuki out the door as they chat between each other. Mm. Hmm? Mm. Mm. What? 
I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. <laughs> oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind either. Holy shit, I'm getting her number. I mean, um, I should give you my phone number. I think that would be the best way, yes. <laughs> Alright then. You and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Ah, uh, su su Sunday? My house? <sighs> Fuck! Is that a problem? <clears throat> no, no, not at all. Not at all. I just thought that I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. I mean... Huh? Uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. Alright. Shit, my mom's going to kill me. In that case, it won't be a problem. I better do the fucking chores. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Holy shit, this sounds like a really bad porno. I mean, uh... Don't underestimate yourself, Mark Rosas. Please stop talking about what I just commented on. I think we'll make, make a very productive team. Stop! Even if you only choose me because you felt bad or something. Stop! <laughs> wait, wait. You don't actually think that, do you? I was totally joking. I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. And that the Suki is a bitch and Sayori and Monica are already working together and I don't feel like doing anything else. So, I mean, it works out. But, but... Yuri thinks to herself an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out that you're overthinking, right? Huh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She starts looking... Uh, she looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. And as if it took her a tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah. I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. I cannot believe this. Yuri's going to be coming to my house on Sunday. My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's still no telling what might happen now after when we're outside the school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? Hmm. Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But then again, I won't be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. Is it Sunday already? Well, it's already Sunday. <sighs> I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. Oh, shit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't matter much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. Like her favorite color is actually aquamarine. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard anything about Sit from Sayori since she left the club early that other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feeling aside when she might need me? I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, pretty much like I've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering myself. 
Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. A little too quiet. There is no music. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Holy shit, that's a big ass cow. Sayori? Hi, Marcarosis. Please tell me you're at least wearing pants. Oh, yes, she is. Okay. Shut up. I was concerned for a second. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is it is as messy as it's always been. That is fucking messy. Jesus. Like sure, she has two plants that look like they're dying and like a shirt or something on her chair. And her bed's not made. And the calendar looks ripped. But I mean, come on. Seriously, this is not clean. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you come over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Are you supposed to see Yuri today? <clears throat> Oh. What? How did you know? Yeah, but, uh, wait, how did you know about that? Hmm? Sayori has already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Uh, yeah, that's true and all. But what about you? Aren't you going to help Monica today? Of course. But... I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then. Awkward. Yep. There's more silence between us. Even more awkward. Sorry stares at a random direction. What do you mean stares at a random direction? It's like... Don't mind me, I'm just staring in a random direction, that's all. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. Sayori, I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you way too well. So, Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Mercurosis. Huh? Why can't it just be like it always has been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this, this is my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. Whoa, what? It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori! Cut the shit! I grab Sayori by the shoulders, shake her suddenly and violently. What on earth are you saying? I mean... <clears throat> are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh, <laughs> Sarah gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Mercurosis. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Where's my mouse? Oh, right there. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really going to make me say it, aren't you, Mercurosis? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, 
I've really had bad depression my whole life. Wow, I wasn't seeing that coming. It was either that or you loved me, and it was either or. There was no in-between. So, I mean, it's not that surprising. It was a 50-50 shot. Did you know that? I just explained it. Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is it to do anything when I totally know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. Damn. Um. Wow. It's really deep. I mean... I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me this entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Hmm? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you ever had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Mercurosis. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because as I told, if I told you, then you would have wasted so effort caring for me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like I'm batting be getting swung against my head. Wow. Ha ha ha. That's why I've wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then, I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and getting closer with everyone in the club... It feels like a spear going through my heart. So, that's why... That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Jesus! Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Mercurosis. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it was always. Always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streak down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart. <clears throat> I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you come here and make me hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Mercurosis? Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Mercurosis? Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Mercurosis, I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I'm not crying. Like, I'm not crying in between. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want for her is to know that I care. If you have it in you just call to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything 
you need me to do, just fucking tell me. I will kill somebody for it. Then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Mercurosis. The one time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm, and that's really scary too. Sayori lets me go. As she does, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like to go for me? Or how would you? Ah, fuck. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um. Ah. Uh, it's what I want. I promise. I. I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sorry, wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day with here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one that I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for you to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want me to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. Damn. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh... It's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri's about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much. And we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. And on that note, I know I went a little bit early, or a little bit past, but you know what? It it's worth it. We got to know some insight about what the hell Sayori is thinking. Like, holy shit. That was something else. Like I said, it was either she's going to admit she loved me or that she was depressed. So, what did you think in the comments? Did you see that coming? Did you see that curveball coming right out of your face? Yeah, if you did, just, just comment. If you did, comment some more. But anyways, I hope all of you some flexings have enjoyed, and if you had, don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to favorite, share, comment, and to subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, stay sharp everybody, stay sharp. See ya!